Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. Today is Friday, April the 8th, 2011, and like we do every week, it's time to look at the market, so check this out. All right, as you guys know, all of our market charts are kept on our website at PerfectStockAlert.com, the free site, and uh, they update every single day, so you can check them out there. They keep all the major global market charts as well as gold, oil, and silver, so forth and so on. All there is uh, both the longer-term one-year weekly charts as well as the six-month daily charts, okay? You can check those out there. Today, we'll be looking at the S&P 500, so let's have a look at that. All right, let's catch everybody up to speed who's not up to snuff. All right, here was the uptrend line. It broke down uh, about three weeks ago. You saw this major breakdown of that trend. Big bounce back up for about two weeks on low volume. As you notice, the slow stocks pulled back down to the 20 line. That's where the uh, traders were doing their little buying activity right down there. Then you bounce back up here above the 80 line, and that's where you start getting cautious. Here, for the past week, we've seen actually sideways activities in what I think is rolling over, preparing to uh, pull back down there. Uh, we're going to go over this different way today, but I'm going to point out what I see, and then we'll build from there. So basically, we've got a major uptrend line that's broken down. The support line is going to start now acting as resistance. You'll see that we pulled up close to it, started shying away from it, and then we're rolling back over here. This run back here was actually on low volume as well, another telltale sign or something's not quite copacetic there. You also notice start to develop here a low point here, a lower low here. This gives you a downtrend line like this. And you'll notice a high point here. And then this new point here, new high point we're starting to see develop here, is actually lower than the previous. That would be the confirmation you're looking for. This is actually starting to roll over to the downside. You were in a major uptrend, and that's starting to fail now. Okay, So that's important to note. Now, just because I point all that out on the chart, doesn't mean it cannot be argued the other way. Somebody else could say, no, I'm going to draw my line like this from low point here, this low point here, and say, okay, now I'm back in an uptrend, okay? Fine, you could argue that, and they could think that this rolling over here is just temporary. They're going to pull back down, consolidate, and then rally even higher. All right, that's possible. There's always two sides to every coin. You know, somebody this week may go over the, uh, you'll probably hear a lot about it, but the price of oil, how it rising rapidly, and that's, you know, going to put higher gas prices on consumers and that would be less money in you know corporate coffers uh, that's another way of arguing it. somebody else could say no that oil is going to be peaking and that's not going to be a long-term issue and and so forth and so on um, you know we could discuss the issues that we've talked about in the past about uh, the government stimulus how we got QE2 coming to an end the end of June and the market's not going to wait to the end of June to start selling off on that anticipation you know they're going to start looking for that happening and start taking profits early. So, you know, between now and then, you're going to see that effect. Of course, somebody else could argue that, no, we'll get QE3. Okay, I mean, that's possible. Another hot topic or area of interest in the markets right now will be ECB this week raising interest rates and how that's going to slow down the European uh, Union's um, growth moving forward. And, you know, that will continue to go as they fight inflation. And we've seen the same effects in uh you know, China's been doing the exact same thing for several months now, and we know what happens there. It slows down growth. Well, you know, if we continue to slow down growth and then the global growth slows, how can the U.S. by itself uh, rally all by itself? It's just not really logical, but somebody else could argue the other way that it's not going to be all that detrimental to growth and so forth and so on. So no matter how you looked at it, somebody could argue the other way. Personally, me, I look at the charts. I see the things breaking down. It doesn't look all that promising to me to be uh, be a buyer, but... Again, that's speculative, you know. What I can look at, though, that is without refute would be the P.E. ratios. So if we look at the S&P 500 and let's have a look at the P.E. ratios, we get a real good clear look at what we're actually buying when we're buying this per, uh, past couple of weeks. All right, for those of you who don't know, this chart is kept on our free website for you to look at every single day, and it's updated every single day. And this shows the P.E. ratios of uh, the S&P 500. And we get out the right tools. You can see it dates all the way back to the 1800s. And you can see that any time that your P.E. ratio falls below the 10, right, right there, right, you've got a major oversold, uh, basically price according to earnings, uh, is majorly oversold. And you can expect several years of a bull market to follow, right? And that's any time it's below this line. Any time it is between 10 and 20, it is considered moderately priced, and you can do a lot of different things in there, but there can be uh, opportunities found within those situations as individual stocks will sometimes uh, won't be priced exactly to the S&Ps overall, 
uh, PE ratio. So there could be opportunities found there. But whenever you're above the 20 line right here, all right, whenever you get above that point and higher, you are expensive. Stocks are expensive compared to their earnings. Therefore, when you see today's reading of 2406, you know that if you're buying this market now, you're paying up too much. All right, for those of you who would look for our uh, free website, look for that little tool I just used, you can go to U.S. Futures, more research links right there. CBO, you put, let's see, where is it? There it is. All right, the S&P 500 PE ratio, okay? I'd like to thank you for using PerfectStockAlert.com. Remind you that uh, it's a 100% free site. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Also, I'd like to remind you to follow us next Monday on the free website there. We'll be going over a lot of new stuff there as well as adding a new tab for fundamentals, okay? Uh, enjoy your weekend. God bless. Be safe. Have a quick look at our disclaimer. Read it and weep.